Hey, Joe Biden got a lot of votes this election. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's crazy because, you know, Joe Biden is a, a crazy guy and, you know, he's a corporate hack and uh, so is Kamala Harris uh, or Cop Mala Harris as Crystal Evilist calls her. And, um, you know, he's another progressive YouTuber. You guys should check him out. Shout out to my local, or my, not my local, but my fellow uh, um, YouTubers, uh, progressive YouTubers. But uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden... Uh, are coming into office, and <clears throat> according to Joe Biden, quote, nothing will fundamentally change. <sighs> <clears throat> nothing will fundamentally change. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, Jack, uh, you know, you know, Joe Biden, how he talks like that. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, <clears throat> old senile ass. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Millions of people are suffering. Millions of people don't have health care. They don't have jobs. And yet Joe Biden says nothing will fundamentally change, which, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> he wasn't saying that um, just because he was telling Wall Street that, meaning, hey, don't worry, I'm going to protect your wallets. <clears throat> and um, I think he meant it. Because, uh, you know, you've seen my videos this week, and I'm still not done about his cabinet. Uh, I can't cover everybody, unfortunately. But, you know, he's he's been covering uh, uh, positions, you know, picking people positions who are warmongers, <clears throat> war criminals, fossil fuel lobbyists, and everybody else. <clears throat> you got 10,000 people in, uh, I think it's Texas. Houston, I'm not sure where, but in Texas, driving to a food bank and getting in line because they don't have food and they don't have any more stimulus, no more aid. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> Joe Biden is still going to be president. <laughs> and nothing's going to fundamentally change. You know, okay. Okay. Hey, um, fifty-eight percent of voters say the that the vote they cast was more against Trump than for Biden. Only fifty-eight percent of people, or uh, I'm sorry, fifty-eight percent of the people who voted for Joe Biden said that their vote was actually not for Joe Biden, but it was because to they wanted to get Trump out of office. To get Trump out of office. They voted out of fear. I mean, you got to think about that. I mean, they, <clears throat> they voted out of fear. And normally, it really doesn't work. But um, can you take a, a clue as to <laughs> why it worked this time? We're stuck at home. Um, there's a virus. Millions are losing their jobs. I, I mean, if you, I hope you get where I'm coming. I'm going here or where I'm coming from. But um, <clears throat> so only f so fifty eight percent of voters um uh, fifty eight percent of voters say I don't like you, but I want that other guy out. Not because you're good. Not because you know, you're, you're a brilliant scholar, not because you're a brilliant, awesome guy, not because you're actually planning to change things, not because but because the other guy is worse. Because the other guy won't do anything for you either. And because this country has a duopoly <clears throat> party system, a, a, just a two-party system. It's got a duopoly, it's got an oligarchy. That that's what our country has, it, and so they they um they couldn't vote. I mean, they could have voted for a third party, but the Republican and Democratic Party, who I call the business party, because they're combined because they believe in the same things, progressives included. Um, they're the business party, but they they have um they have everybody by their balls. They have everybody on a stronghold, and uh, if you vote for a third party, even Democrats and Republicans both will scold you. They'll they'll throw third party candidates candidates like Howie Hawkins off the ballot.
in Wisconsin and then say it's because they don't want to cause a delay of ballots. Meanwhile, they're causing, they caused a delay of ballots in South Carolina because they didn't want Howie Hawkins on the ballot. <laughs> but there you go. 58% of people say, I don't like Joe Biden. I hate Joe Biden. He's not a good politician. He's not going to do anything for me, but I also hate Trump. I also hate Trump. <laughs> Less than half of people who voted for him actually wanted to vote for him. Less than half the people who actually voted for him voted for him because they wanted to. They believed in him. They believed in his agenda. Think about that. Less than half the fucking country wanted you. You corporate tool, you fucking hack. Less than half the people who voted for you actually wanted you. They actually believed you were going to make change for them. That you were going to really upend the system and end this corruption that Trump started. Actually, no. Um, you know, you started, Joe. But, well, you continued, but you really were a huge architect. 47 years, come on. You have to be the most disliked person on the goddamn earth, on the goddamn planet, to say, you know, for people to say, I don't like you, but I'm going to vote for you because I hate the other guy. And then only half the people who voted for you, half, say they actually supported you and they actually believed in you. Gee, I wonder why that is. Out of a total of nearly 80 million votes that went to uh, that went to Joe Biden, 28 million or just 36 percent actually voted for Joe. That's a full 46 million. Out of a nearly 80 million out of out of a total of nearly 80 million votes. For Biden, only 28 million or 36% of those votes actually voted for Joe. And that's a full 46 million. That don't like you. 46 million people don't like you, Joe. But, you know, they thought, hey, I got to vote for this guy because he's not Trump. Because liars and dumbasses said, oh, he's not Trump. (laughs) His cabinet's not as corrupt as Donald Trump because Donald Trump has the most corrupt cabinet. (sighs) You lying assholes. If you think about it, Joe Biden, um, the reason he only has this many votes, this many people that actually care about him, is because he doesn't actually care about you. Regardless of what the centrist democratic hack tools and corporate tools and bootlickers actually tell you. Hey, check this out. Out of a 159.8 million ballots cast, only 28 million wanted Joe Biden. Gee, I wonder why. Oh. Gee, I wonder. Uh, <laughs> is it maybe because Joe Biden says nothing will fundamentally change? Joe Biden is putting corrupt war criminals in his cabinet and using your tax dollars and your parents' tax dollars and your and, and, and every other bit of federal funding you give them and Wall Street doesn't because they're rich and they pay off the system to take us to war and to send your sons and daughters to die for fucking rich people to get rich? Oh, I don't know. Is it maybe because Joe Biden voted for the bankruptcy bill where he helped the credit lenders and the credit bureaus decide, uh, 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 get away with, cor- uh, with, with, with um, screwing you over and getting away with corruption? I don't know. Maybe was it because he helped the credit bureaus so much? He was known as the senator from MBNA, which was a, 
which was a credit card bureau that was then sold to Bank of America? I don't know. Oh, oh, maybe, um, maybe it was because uh, Joe Biden um, voted for the crime bill and put millions and millions of black and brown people in jail for having marijuana, but then let white collar crime. Those people got away with everything, and so did Kamala Harris, the black woman in the White House, the Asian woman in the White House. I'm, you know, because identity really fucking matters when you're really getting screwed over. Hey, at least a black woman and an old white guy are leaving me without housing. <laughs> you jackasses. <laughs> oh, look, tweet from Joe Biden. Here's the deal. Because President Trump refuses to concede and is delaying the transition, we have to fund it ourselves and we need your help. If you're able, chip in to help fund the Biden-Harris transition. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? Now they need your money. After they win the election. Oh, gee. Forgive me. Here's the deal. Because President Trump refuses to concede and is delaying the transition, we need your we need to fund it ourselves and we need your help. If you're able, chip in. To help fund the Biden-Harris transition. What the fuck do you need the money for, Joe? Why? You just won the election. And now you're asking for uh, voters in a pandemic to give over their last fucking dime for you. And then you're going to turn around and then fuck them over. Screw them over and say, (laughs) thank you, bitches. But now I'm not going to help you. (laughs) Wall Street, what do you need? What do you need, Wall Street? I mean, what, what, what's the money going to go for, Joe? Are you renting U-Hauls? Are you paying the movers? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. They won the election. They had 147 billionaires. Funded their fucking campaign. Now they're having to fund their own transition. I don't know what it even means. I mean, someone could inform me. I would hope that maybe if I'm making a transaction, I'm not getting scammed. And I'm being told, this is what you're paying for, you dumbass. Now put put up the money, you fuck. Getting so mad, I dropped the camera. You had 147 fucking bil- uh, of billionaires r- run your campaign. These two Wall Street, corrupt, accepted, Martha's Vineyard, Silicon Valley, corporate tools and hacks and establishment goons need your money? You know, they call us grifters, but geez, I think this is a, a form of grifting. They're grifting hella Right now, they're they're grifting hella. No, oh, look who else is doing it. A tweet from President Trump's official election defense fund. President Trump needs you to step up to make sure we have the resources to protect the integrity of the election. Please, a tri- please contribute any amount immediately. Immediately, hey, we didn't help you through this pandemic. We killed 250,000 people plus. We tried taking away your health care. We shipped more jobs overseas. We closed down plants in Ohio, taking down six, taking out 1,600 workers. We passed the biggest, tra- one of the biggest transfers of wealth in history at 1.9 or $2 trillion to the fucking rich and left you with nothing and gave them 83% of the wealth in 10 years. Oh, but please help us. 
these people are corrupt as hell. These, the, these people are just the worst. And Joe Biden needs more money. This is why only half the people support him. And all you people say, oh, I don't know what he's going to do. We just have to uh, wait to see what we're going to do, uh, what he's going to do. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but right now, uh, because because we needed to vote out for uh, Trump, um, uh, uh, we need to support the Democrats. You fucking cocksuckers, you dumbass. Ye- 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 <laughs> Shows you don't do any research. And now you are responsible for the millions of deaths you're going to cause overseas. When we bomb the shit out of all the Middle East. Let's just bomb it. And then when more people die because they don't have health care. You are responsible. You are to be ashamed. And that's why only half the people who voted for Joe Biden even want Joe Biden. That's why. 